So Gopi, should people who are getting the vaccine be concerned about fertility? I think I can understand why individuals who are thinking of starting a family, even if not in the near future, may have concerns. We do ask that you have these conversations with your healthcare providers, um, but currently there is data that suggests that there is no impact in sperm count or motility um, or the ability of a person to get pregnant um, or that embryo to implant and then to have a healthy pregnancy. In fact, there's really great data that suggests the antibodies you have from the vaccine can be passed to your newborn baby and they definitely can't get vaccinated right now. Um, so currently there's no evidence to suggest that there's effect on fertility, but we do ask that you speak to your providers. Um, there's great information on the CDC website as well as our website um, from experts talking about the concerns of fertility. And if I may add that, you know, so the mRNA vaccine has the genetic material just for the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, right? So if you got infected, the same mRNA would be in your body from a natural infection plus all the rest of the genetic material from SARS-CoV-2. So really, and, and then the other ingredients that's in our vaccine are, are ingredients that you can actually find from food that we eat, right? So, um, so just because they are considered medicines, it doesn't certainly mean that they're, they're, there is something hidden in there that we don't know about. So, so again, I, I just wanna say that the same genetic material in, um, in our vaccines will be found in a natural infection. If you get infected with COVID, with whatever variant it is, they will have a lot more of their genetic material in, um, in, the, in, in your body, so. Thank you. And I should actually, I should attest my, um, my sister got the vaccine while pregnant and my two months old little niece actually has COVID antibodies. So it, I know she discussed getting the vaccine with a provider, provider advised her to do so and you know now my niece is protected which is great that's great i think one more thing that's really important is that pregnant women there's evidence that they have poor outcomes when infected with covid19 mm -hmm. so again this is one of the best ways to protect yourself and your unborn child from covid